Hey, Terry. How's it going? This is Joe. Terry Doyle. You Jimmy Doyle's brother? Yeah, I am. And you busted out of the academy for uh, DWI? Actually, it was because I didn't report it. I thought they'd have tried real hard to keep uh, <laughs> Jimmy Doyle's brother in. What are you, like a historian on the police department, Joe? Don't go being smart ass, Terry. Well, I did get busted out. And maybe my brother could have did more, but that's nobody else's business. You don't want me driving because I'm Jimmy Doyle's brother? We'll call it off right now. Thanks a lot. Sure. What's anything about driving? Nobody. It's my mistake. You're as good a driver as your brother is a cop? My name's Terry Doyle. All right? Terry Doyle. All right, Terry. Been living in my brother's shadow since I'm seven years old. And when you had your little situation, maybe Jimmy didn't stand up for you as good as he could? I understand. Let's get something straight. Yeah. Whatever my brother did or didn't do, it's not open to discussion for you. <laughs> Whatever you say, Terry. You eat? No, I didn't eat. Let's see. Mm. Let's discuss some weekend driving. American brothers, Terry. You got any deep feelings? All the injustice they've suffered to this country's long history. Not especially. So if some spades get cheated out of a few dollars payday, you wouldn't take to your bed with a migraine, abandon your uh, driving responsibilities? No, I could live through that. Then what you sandwich that, Terry? Yeah, just about. Why don't you count it done? Keep him a lean company. If she does enjoy your solitude, Terry, you might want to do the same. Vanished? That's how it looks. What am I doing? What you're told. All right. There's a van parked out back with jersey plates. You can put these on it, fill the tank with gas, and then come back to the lot and wait for us. Can I ask where I'm going? Ask away. But don't go troubling yourself, Terry, is Bobby's point. What's the difference? None, if you say so. When you asked Bobby what you were doing, he said you'd be doing what you were told. Now you just asked again. The second time I asked where I was going, not what I was going to do. You need to have the last word, Terry? No. <laughs> you, no, you don't. No. You need to have the last word? You need to shake your smart-ass head when I ask you a question. Terry. There you go, just like that. And drive. Terry, you coming with me? If that's all right. Around the corner. Hey, old bus. Uh. 
How many we got? How many did you ask for? You asked for a dozen. That's what we bought. You bring the ten grand like you were supposed to? I was supposed to bring five grand, half now, half after. So where's the five, Mike? Nice hat. You a ventriloquist now, Buster? He asked the right questions. Two thousand now, ten thousand after. You see these Irish? See what I'm talking Someone about? Flip? Excuse me? I said, say what there, Flip? Darius. My name is Darius. And who's that spade that I'm confusing you with used to put on women's clothes? How did we get from five on delivery to two? Compensating for your inconvenience. I put two extra on the back end. So get the Brooklyn Bridge while you're at it, too. You know, I gotta make him promise. Two pieces for the 2,000. Everyone walks away friends. <sighs> I need the whole dozen. Can't help you, Hoss. Drive out first. You and Flip get dropped. He can't put but two thousand dollars together, and now you're telling you that uh, the bushes is full of Marines. Buster, you think this drama is right here, huh? Well, it makes sense that I'm not packing a piece, right? I'm gonna come with no backup, and you know I could afford at least one thirty-eight. Make him show this backup then. Come, make the leprechaun come. Shut up, Darius. You wanna see the leprechaun? Cause they come, they gotta shoot you. You know, see, Buster understand. That's why he's Buster, and you're just some nigger in a dress. Show you a nigger. You want to see a nigga? You want to see a real live nigga? You want to see a real Two thousand now, ten afterward. Oh. Two thousand now, ten afterward. Ooh, yeah. What? You drive a hard bargain, then, Buster. Right, Terry Doyle. Okay, mute Terry Doyle is gonna go get the truck, load it up, right, Terry Doyle? Get to my name. What's your problem with me? Go get the truck, Terry Doyle. The rest is just conversation. Sharing, Terry Doyle. Three minutes late to more lands us all in jail. Around one, you said. <sighs> Always an answer. You're here now, Joe. You feeling all right, Patty? I'm doing a pinch. I hope you like this tomorrow, old man. Tomorrow? <laughs> I'll kick your ass for slowing me down. That about it now, boys? Everyone had their say? Guard. Guard. Three tellers here, here, here. Manager. Bobby Patty. Me, Terry Doyle. American currency. Where's the bank? Excuse me? Just stop it now, Joe. Hey. Get more for you, Patty. This will get it now. This is the address we'll be meeting at tomorrow, 1.30. Yeah. Door through the alley will be open. Good. Good? So it's easy enough at all. It's easy enough right now. That would be 1.30 sharp. All right there, Terry Doyle? Yeah, Joe. 1.30 sharp.
Paddy taken ill, it's going to be you and me together. Joey can handle the front on his own. Who's Joe talking to? You want to get through this, Terry boy. Your propensity to that's got to stop. I just want to know if he's riding with us. Hey! Joey will put one right in your ear. That's the unvarnished truth. Terry Doyle! Let's switch jackets. What? Was that a gift from your brother? Come on.